how to integrate Shopify with Amazon. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily connect your Shopify store to your Amazon seller account. All you have to do is very simple. You have to set up your Shopify store. What I mean by setting up your Shopify store, you have to get up your plans and also get up your products. And also the next step that you are going to do is to go to Amazon Seller Center and you have to sign up. For signing up, it is very easy. They will demand from you uh, the account that you have on Amazon and then you will be uh, redirected to a page to gather for some information from you, some IDs and taxes and you will be good to go. The next thing that you are going to do is to set up the products on Shopify. What I mean by products is for example when I go to my products I click on any of my products let's go here with this sweater uh, this is an example uh, of the sweater I have here a simple title with a, a single word and a very simple description and also some basic photos these are not acceptable uh, for Amazon to be a seller all you have to do is to get a good or great uh, title and also you have to generate a very good uh, description as you can see right here on amazon.com we have here some descriptions let's go ahead and see some clothing description for example right here we have uh, this uh, boat neck sweater as you can see this is uh, the uh, about or the description of the item as you can see right now it is a full description we have the size we have the collection the feature the occasion and everything so you have to keep in mind that you have to put a professional description and you will be good to go now when you have finished uh, setting up the photos and everything you can go ahead and select the product that you want to source to Amazon then you all you have to do is to click on um, export and then you have to put them as a CSV file to keep them in your PC so that you can upload them to your Amazon now let's go to the app that you should install on your Shopify store so you can connect both of Amazon and Shopify you are going to search on marketplace market place on the search bar marketplace like this connect connect and you will be guided to this on the Shopify App Store. I am going to download the official app from Shopify and this is it. I am going to click on it. It is free to install. In my case, I have it already installed. I'm going to click on open. Now we are on the dashboard of the Marketplace Connect. As you can see here, it is a, the overview. It is very simple. We have the listing, the attribute, mapping, and the orders. Now I'm going to connect my Amazon account. I will click on Connect Marketplaces. And as you can see, here are four marketplaces that you can add. We have the Amazon, the Walmart, the eBay, and the Etsy. I'm going to click on Connect on Amazon. If your account is already ready for the use on Amazon um, seller, central you have to choose the Amazon that you are going to use for example amazon.com or of the of your region um, uh, here CA I'm going to use amazon.com here uh, I am going to connect it again it will take some time for example right here it will pop up a window so it will let you sign into your Amazon account and you will be good to go after you have uh, connected these stores, you will be guided to the Amazon Seller Central, which has uh, this uh, dashboard. We have here the Amazon Seller Central. We have the catalog, the inventory, the pricing, and everything. So whenever you want to add a product to the inventory, you can go ahead and add it right here from the Marketplace Connect. You go to Listing. And then when you go to a listing, you can manage them and add the products. You can also uh, export these products or edit them in bulk. But the second thing is to add them manually. You can go ahead to the inventory and click on add a product and you can add it manually. Now, 
as you can see here there is some product added on the inventory of Amazon seller center we have here the uh, products and also we have the orders uh, as you can see now it is very simple to proceed to the next steps it is not very complicated now I am going to show you how you can improve the quality of your images or the photos of your product and how you can also create the best description for your product let's start for the photo or the image uh, image quality improver you can see here let's enhance.io is the website that I am going to use as you can see it is a image enhancer and upscaler you can improve the designs or the photos or whatever you want it is uh, free to use all you have to do is to click start free now you have to connect your uh, Google account or your email account I'm going to browse an image then I will make a good uh, quality of it let's go ahead and choose uh, this photo for example it will be going to uh, process I will go to proceed right here it is a processing I will wait for it to be uh, more or improved but in the same time I am going to use this AI free tool which will help you write the description or generate a description for the product I am going to select a photo so it will recognize the photo then I am going to put it on the uh, Shopify store this is you can just go ahead and see the photo that I have put where is the photo is not uh, here I am going to see the photo of the shoe that I have selected for the improvement I can't see it right here but it is here now I'm going to open it it is not a, a PNG file I'm going to uh, transform it to a PNG file then I will generate the description now I have uh, uh, the image right here as you can see this is the shoe that I am going to use we have the description you can put a description to the AI so it will help you or you can choose the format for example you can put a friendly format or a formal format it is up to you I'm going to put it as for example luxury I will generate the description it is a very fine right here the uh, identity of a human now and I will wait for it to be uh, right here introducing the epitome of elegance and sophistication here we have the a description let's go back to the image and as you can see it is uh, right here we have a watermark you can go with the uh, premium plan uh, to remove the watermark but uh, in my case I will go with this simple uh, one I am going to add the description add a product and click it right here I will download this image and then I will put this uh, description right here and we will be good to go that is all right here we have not the uh, we have the watermark removed I don't know why it was appearing right here but it is okay that was all uh, for today's video thank you for watching and hope to see you on the next one